Hey friends, I've got the eggs that I just picked up and I'm looking out here and I wanted to show you the next project and that is to clear this area out. I'll take you in a little bit closer. I don't know if you saw the last video where I explained what we're doing with this area here. Let me just pan over. <laughs> it's the um, area we're gonna fence in for future animals. Now part of the chores that we have to do is first clear this area. So I'm gonna tackle it, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna tackle it a little bit at a time because we're not ready for animals yet, but I don't wanna get overwhelmed with the work. So we're gonna do it in little spurts. So let me show you what it looks like. First, let me show you the amount of leaves that we have picked. Now some of these have fallen, some of them the chickens have pushed over, but it's a really big pile. And I'm eventually going to um, turn this, probably um, mist it a little bit or get it wet. So my hope is for spring to be able to utilize a lot of this in the raised beds. So let's come over here. I don't know how much space is here, but it is pretty deep. It's a lot of bamboo. It's a lot of, I guess, firewood that they never used, the previous owners, and they just stacked it here. I think that there was something in this back corner because there is a fence. I hope there's no animals that come out. It's getting a little dark. You see there's an entrance here. So I'm not sure what this was used for, but there is so much bamboo. There's a lot of brush in here, but there is walkways and this is the time to do it when everything is dyed back. I'm excited to see this all cleaned up. So I'm gonna start with these piles. I'm gonna take it to our fire pit just because this wood is just like disintegrating. So it's not really good firewood for inside or else it would be used for our indoor wood. I'm sure there's plenty of bugs because the chickens love to come out here and they hang out for a while. But we need to clean this up. It's a huge mess, but I'm sure it will be done pretty soon. Look how the bamboo just dries and falls down. The good thing is that it's not heavy because it's hollow inside. Let me take you over on this side. Look, that was a really, really large bamboo there. But there's more firewood here. So it's pretty deep. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited to clean it up. At some point, we'll build something here for the animals, but this is our first task for this area. Don't I look like I've been out here working? <laughs> this is the time that I get to do it. And before it was an excuse not to film, but you know what, this is it. This is what y'all get. <laughs> um, I'm gonna show you the garden because now that we had the really, really low temperatures last week, they called it the Arctic Blast. Um, we, I think our temperatures went down to 10 degrees. I did cover some of the plants, but some that I thought would make it didn't. And I didn't cover them, which I learned that even though they are frost hardy, I'm sure they're not freeze hardy. Now I know. Yep, I covered those and they look great. The same over here, a couple areas look a little bad, but overall, I still have this cabbage and that's the Napa cabbage. I know I didn't tell you guys that last time. These, I need to come back and cut back and hope that they do okay and maybe they come back but all of my brassicas don't look like they're gonna make it and it really bumps me out because they were doing so well in this bed oregano was not covered it did great parsley there's some areas that are not good but overall it still looks okay um the rosemary that i have here and the thyme they did great they look funny <laughs> this this is gonna look so different so different come next year in a few days this bed i completely covered it has spinach so it did great 
um, my mustard greens. I had to come back and cut what didn't do well. But I think these will bounce back. They look pretty healthy either way. Now this really, really bums me out because last year or the year before that, I had carrots and snow and they did amazing. But I don't know what happened this time. So I didn't cover the carrots, but I did cover the <laughs> celery and the cilantro, which is so weird. They look great. We'll see in the next few days, but I mean, they're still green. The cilantro doesn't look too happy. You can barely see it, but it's in there. So I was really surprised about the carrots. And over here, my sweet peas that were all blooming. I did the same thing. I didn't cover them. And quite honestly, it was because I didn't have enough cover fabric because I only had what I had last year. I should have known better. I was confident that these would make it. And this really bums me out. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was afraid to even cut it back and I know I need to come back and clean it. I haven't done so just because of that. I didn't cover this bed at all. Look at this guy here, made it completely. The buttons, the bachelor's buttons, they really surprised me and they look great the broccoli that was here i had to cut back a lot i kept some of the foliage just so that we kept something before i cut everything back i'm hoping that what's shooting out from here is okay and this will fill in soon again so you know stay tuned for that see if that works out i have bachelor buttons over here as well which those look great the kale and the cabbage same thing I think the cabbage is, did way better than the kale but I cut it back leaving only a little bit just so that it has a little bit to bounce back but we'll see everything else on the back I had a lot of kale that really didn't make it and you know what? These beds are a lot easier to cover. So I should have just bought a lot more of the fabric and I didn't. And over here, surprisingly, even though the weather was so, so cold, everything was frozen, these only had a thin layer of cover and the arugula did great. Here, I had a an area that I didn't pin down and I totally missed it. So it lifted and it allowed air to go through. And over here, that didn't happen. So I really learned my lesson there. So looking at all the beds and all the green that I had, I learned my lesson. We are starting from scratch again. <laughs> the story of my gardening. <laughs> I do this all the time. I need to learn my lesson. Um, on another note, I ordered I don't know, like 80 more seed packets from Baker Creek last night. They still have a lot of seeds. Everything that I picked was not out of stock. So now's the time to do it. And if you didn't catch last year, I started a series on what to do every month um, to get you ready and prepared for what needs to get done if you're planning on starting a garden. I will link it here in case you need to reference it just to help you out. And uh, that is it for today. I wanted to wish every single one of you a happy new year. I'm excited for what 2023 is gonna bring.